Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Stepladder Finals broadcast of the Jamrin Tour. It wasn't what we'd originally planned, but for this edition we are back at Olathe Lanes East for the Olathe Lanes East Open. We had a smaller turnout in this event compared to past ones, so this one was a smaller stepladder. Out of the five person field, the top three went to the stepladder finals. Our third place qualifier is Elijah. Now he's making not only his first ever stepladder appearance, but this was his first ever tournament appearance. Now Elijah is a very unique case. He's not your average bowler. He doesn't do any leagues or tournaments or anything. In fact, he just throws a what I believe is a 14 pound house ball, but he has surprising accuracy with it, which made him a contender in this field, especially with his 45 pins of handicap. Our second place qualifier is yours truly, Jared, firing a 654 over our three games of qualifying, receiving no handicap. And our tournament leader, also Bowling Scratch, you're used to seeing him as well, Cameron, is back once again, coming off of two straight wins at the Thanksgiving Open and the New Year's Open. Cameron started off our qualifying with a nice 248 and never looked back. He led all the way through, and he is our number one seed after shooting a 681 series. That's our lineup for the Jammer in Olathe Lanes East Open. Now, let's get to the action. Match number one features Elijah versus Jared. Okay. So today, folks, we have uh, Cameron Kotwitz on the mic. Uh, not going to be as good as last week with Jared and Joe. But up we have Elijah first in our uh, semifinals match. This is only a three-person step ladder. So our first game is Elijah versus uh, Jared. Winner will go on to face me, Cameron. Elijah currently has a handicap of 45 pins. Jared will be bowling scratch. Cameron, our number one seed, is also bowling scratch. Elijah ends up with a 6-2 open. Sorry, 7-2 open. Now it's for Jared's shot. Expecting big numbers out of Jared today. Getting it right. Strike for Jared. Coming out guns ablaze, and he's got to overcome that 45 pin handicap. This is going to be interesting, folks. strike from Elijah. This is going to be very tough for Jared to come back from. We might be looking at a Cameron Elijah final if Jared can't recover from this strike. He said he got it, but he said he, he said he got it, but you can act. He said he got it. Here is Jared's second frame. Jared get coming out. Second strike. Getting that double up, double up, baby. Now we have Elijah up next with a uh, with a response to Jared's strike. Oh, coming out with that nine. Leaving that seventh in. Here he goes to shoot it. Releases it right down the middle. Looking good, looking good. And he barely misses. Barely misses. Jared might have this one in the back in the third frame. And again, we still have that 45 pin handicap, folks. Jared's third shot, a little inside. Whipped inside, somehow makes it. Jared is very surprised. That was a terrible shot. The ball was whipped so hard. I just 
That was a very bad shot by Jared. And now it's time for Elijah to recover. Let's see if he can strike here. Great, great placement. Oh, just comes in light. I like Joe commentary in the, in the Jared and Cameron final. Gets three. Ends with nine. Currently, currently folks, we're looking at a 60-46 Jared lead, but Jared has yet to bowl his fourth frame. Oh, another strike. Jared is hot. And just like that, Jared blows it wide open. <laughs> Already basically making up those 45 minutes. Now Elijah. Outside. Chips off. Seven pins. That's gonna go and he misses. <laughs> Looks like Jared can shut it all away here. <laughs> yeah. 45, but he has a bunch of strikes. So if he if he gets count here, he'll be ahead. Great placement. Oh, just comes in light. Jared can't can't get the 300 perfect game. Four strikes along. <laughs> Looks like Jared chokes in the fifth frame. Stops <laughs> the Big big choke by Jared. Probably gonna lose the game. Those kind of, those kind of shots will not be Cameron in the final. Jared gets the spare, something he is not used to in this game. Well, he picks up that solid spare. What a shot by Elijah. Now let's see Jared's response, where he pretty much is insanely ahead. And he's off. Wide. Oh, and it destroys the pocket. Jared comes back off that strike with an insane, or off that spare with an insane strike. And watch, you're gonna, you're gonna pull. Yeah. Yeah. And now here's Elijah. Drops it outside. Oh, but it whips back. Oh my God. That that should have been a strike, folks. I could have sworn that was a strike. Yeah, called a strike. We're calling that a strike, folks, because that 100% was. That was that was very, 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 very.
and Jared responds with a monster strike. <laughs> hey, I got the strike. <laughs> And Elijah responds, that, that is a split, folks. And, oh, he gets one, chops one. Unfortunately, folks, this game has been blown wide open, leaving it oh, leaving it up to Cameron to defend his title against Jared in the finals match. Jared is all but shut out, Elijah. Oh, Jared with another monster strike. Let's see if Elijah can capitalize. Oh, and it does not appear so. There's the shot. Oh. Almost had it. But it appears that Jared will be victorious. Uh, five weekends through April and May. Entry forms are also appearing in the counter, so entry forms are going to get Jared with a with a very awful shot. Surprising from him. <laughs> and I zoomed in on that one, Jared. <laughs> I got that one right up. I got that. I got that shot for Jared. Let's see if he can capitalize and pick this up. He's on a strike. And it appears Jared will open in the ninth, but it will not be enough for Elijah to come back. Here we go. And we don't need to have a uh, we don't need to have a warm up for me. Yeah. The gutter from Elijah. Hey, you're on camera. You're on camera, by the way. Okay. Looks like a gutter from Elijah. Pretty much all but giving up on Jared. I'm beating Jared. We are going to see the finals. And Jared will be victorious. Jared is our winner, folks. Let's see what Jared can do in his final few shots. Before, before the finals match. <laughs> what? Yep, it's just a normal game. Jared with a flat hit, but it does strike. Currently at 217. As you can see, folks, the score difference is currently up by 100. You have time. <laughs> and Jared stones that. 10 pin. See if you can pick this one up. Oh, and he 
misses. Cameron sure hopes that that continues. And Jared is victorious over Elijah in the first match of the Cameron tournament. Semi-final match. Your finals are up next. And now this is your finals match. Jared's first shot is up next. Oh yeah, just in time. Uh, Joe headed out. I think Joe left. Oh, you bounced? Yeah, he just left. She left too. A little bit ago. Oh, and Jared with the messy, messy, messy shot. Almost a strike. Straight on angle. Gets the five hit. What a shot. This is it, Elijah. This is it, Elijah. The grand finale. Grand finale match here. The two leading title holders in the Jammer and Tour. They both suck, though. They both suck. Oh, no. I'll edit the floats. This is capturing like the commentary. So I'll use the floats from that one. You know you can make your own commentary. I could. Okay, I'm going plastic at the 5-7. Misses wide. Oh no. Oh no. Uh-oh. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. You guys watch the practice? Uh, no. No? Yeah, the practice? I just watch it like for fun. until they get to like the ninth position. <laughs> yeah. Cherry destroys the pocket. And it checks early. Just leaves the ninth and tripped out the four. Good break. Good break and bad break, all in one frame. It could have struck, but it also could have split. Now look at that plastic take off. Alright, no don't mess around. Okay. Jared's third shot. Cameron is already behind. left a bit and again sends the four in front of the nine that's two frames in a row and he's right on the nine pin yeah we'll see I gotta start striking I missed his first game when he wasn't this good. That's definitely. I'm gonna wait for him to miss. I feel like the skateboarding is gonna get him too. Yeah. Once you get hot on skateboarding, it's not Nice job, Jared. High five. <laughs> Oh, 
fine if I said I wasn't a little worried on that last spare shot. <laughs> Barely got it. Here's Cameron. He's in a bit of a hole here early on. That looks like a better shot. And he rings one of his own. Because I had to do good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cross lane at the 10. He's right on that one. No, I was worried. That's the trick to it. I was worried. I literally expect you to shoot like a 220 or something. The more worried you are, the worse you get. Looking for his first strike of the game, Cameron trips out the 4-7 in the fifth frame. Finally. About time. I got something. Dang, I am down so far. What? Are you consistent right now? I see a problem here. Cameron currently down by 23 pins. He needs a double here to match. Good looking shot. Will he have the hold? And the same break he got last time, he doesn't get this time. It leaves the 4 7. I hate to say it early on, but Cameron's in a bit of trouble here. Going after the spare, he's right on it. door open for Cameron. That's not a door. It's just a window. <laughs> it's a window. It's a window. We'll see. Let's go it though. We'll see. We'll see if Cameron can capitalize. has the opening here on the seventh frame. Let's see if he can go through the opening. Looks a little left, he's gonna have a hold. And carries it. Let's go. I need to I don't know, we'll see. Is it at five now? It just hit five? Hey, we only have three frames left, we should be fine. Got the strike up to go over my open. It'll be even bigger for him if he can catch one right here. Oh, 
waiting for pins and we got them. We're at a bit of a time crunch. That looks a little slow and he stops it flush. Oh no, let's go. If I win this game, do I get my bow back? And that right there for me was a huge shot. Now in the 10th frame, all I should need is a mark. That was a big shot right there. Everyone's got to match it or else he's in dire straits. If he strikes, it is a nine pin match going into the 10th. Uh-oh. And comes in flat, he leaves an eight pin. Camera's left an eight pin in the ninth frame. The lead will grow. And Jared now just needs a mark. I was wrong, it was a nine pin match. Now I just need a mark. Dang it. Let's hope Jared opens. Almost a split, leaving the door open for camera. Oh, right Jared makes this here, and then he just needs one thing. Jared needs one pin. Yes. No, two pins. Jared needs two. Jared needs two pins to tie. Three pins in order to shut Cameron out. He needs to get three pins to beat me. Two pins. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> Let's see what I'm. Oh, so not even with a three pin catch up, even with a triple? Yeah, we got it now. Wait, so even with a triple three pin catch up? Yeah, that wrapped it up. Cameron, the best can get to is 205. And we'll get the first one right there. Hurry! Went for pins. We got one minute to see what Cameron bowls here, and of course, the lethal lanes used to stalling us. They're gonna. I know. There we go. We finally have pins. Let's see what Cameron ends up with. And another eight pin adds insult to injury. Cameron, can he get one more shot off here? And we're gonna give him the spare. What do you think? Should we give you the spare and save all the 195? Yeah. Cameron Cotwitz, how do you feel? I'm disappointed, Jared, but uh, I'll come back in the next one and win. Yes. We were originally gonna have this as the mission below open, but those plans had to be changed. They yes. didn't have any room in that center. Yeah. So this was the Olathe Lanes East Open. For Jared, or for Cameron Cutwitz, I've been Jared Coker. I hope you enjoyed our stepladder finals today. You know it. <laughs>